For over 30 years, California farmers have grown broccoli in the historic Salinas Valley. Because farming has always been a traditional venture, the raising of this succulent vegetable was rarely challenged. But the buying appetite of North Americans created new demands. And in order to meet the demands of a growing broccoli market and the high cost of doing business, the progressive broccoli farmer set his sights on new horizons in the science of soils and engineering, and then took a new look at his problems in delivering quality broccoli to market. In the Salinas Valley, where farming conditions are ideal most of the year, growing and harvesting quality broccoli is an endless cycle involving man's competition with the delicate temperaments of soil, seed, machinery, and weather. The peculiarities of soils, the complexities of mechanization, and the dedications of the personalities involved often dictate whether broccoli can be grown economically or not. Land properly rotated and boasting a prior history of good production is much sought after for broccoli. And once the land is obtained, it is granted all the affection worthy of its status. But today's farmer must be attuned to many things. He must know mass production, how to operate under long-range planning. He must know how to grow and to harvest. And he must know quality control and merchandising. When you are responsible for the growing and harvesting of over 4,000 acres of California broccoli, planting must be timed so there is a continuous harvest of prime, fresh quality to constantly satisfy the retail demand. To complete this cycle, seed varieties boasting a top pedigree must be secured to assure quality broccoli production. Good strains easily adapted to the Salinas Valley region are extremely important. And germination, if the fields are properly prepared and the weather right, begins almost immediately. This young broccoli plant still has a long way to go. The distance from this stage to the supermarket shelf and housewife acceptance is not without its problems. But because the farmer is vigilant and there is a close liaison, the reward comes at harvest time. Meeting the demands to deliver as quickly as possible quality broccoli to the fresh or frozen market played a key role in this grower and chipper's decision to mechanize his harvesting. To abandon the traditional methods of harvesting employed by most broccoli growers was a broad step, yet the challenge to mechanize had to be met. Designing harvesting equipment to roll through fields often during the rainy months when furrows are rich with mud and still not sacrifice quality control was a king-size challenge. Yet when a California grower dedicated to expediting broccoli to the waiting housewife tackles a problem, the results are often startling. The combining of farming know-how with the latest in agricultural engineering resulted in the development of the man-packing company harvesting unit. Big crops and big ideas often require big crews. And when this 20th century agricultural wonder goes into a field, it requires the efforts of over 34 men to feed its belts as well as to keep it running. Often ignoring unfavorable Salinas Valley climate, the self-propelled machine launches into the fields and down furrows. And yet with exciting precision, it spreads out over 30 rows of broccoli with the ease of a relaxed giant. The gentle moods of a temperate climate often catch workers in rain clothes beneath the balmy sun, but they're well protected from the moisture which keeps the plants wet. Broccoli pickers following the harvester are well schooled in the quality of broccoli for which they are searching. From the field, one suddenly can grasp the enormous responsibility of mass farming for today's complex markets. The importance of expediting fresh broccoli to preserve its field freshness is more than idle conversation. As these trained workers pick broccoli, what seems like an endless belt hastens the green vegetable to tote boxes carried on powerful track layers. And with the same swiftness which emphasizes this farming operation, broccoli is spilled in a cascade cushioned by tote boxes capable of holding 700 pounds each. 
Each track layer, which can hold six boxes, nurses off the giant harvester, often towing behind an additional six tote boxes on a specially designed trailer. And when the tote boxes are filled, the track layer rides like a phantom surfboard across a sea of green broccoli to the sunny shores which surround the harvesting scene. What makes this broccoli harvest amazing is the absolute quality control which is exercised and coordinated with a packing house operation, often many miles away. While the operator controls the machine's pace, staying alert to mechanical functions, a field foreman communicates and receives vital instructions. Harvesting goes on without delays as changes in orders ride out over the airways in a space age type agricultural operation. After a field is harvested, crews move rapidly and no time is lost getting the harvesting equipment to a new field. The mobility of today's broccoli harvesting equipment has hastened the pace of both men and machines alike. And with volume field production at high gear, the packing house tempo has to increase accordingly if the product is to get to the housewife without delay. This grower-shipper's imagination when applied to a practical shed production problem can also be startling. Field containers, rich in broccoli, are quickly emptied by a line of quality control sorters. Workers check for defects in quality, color, as well as maturity. The success of quality control, though in effect since the land preparation and the planting of the first seed, continues to grow in importance. The economics of vegetable packing are relatively basic. Sorting is carried out rapidly and automatic bunching the next link continues to lend an air of agricultural know-how. In swift, almost lightning-like movement, bunches which contain from three to four heads of broccoli are gathered, trimmed, tied, and dispatched within seconds. This machinery developed by man packing company engineers is another step forward in agricultural engineering. Making a quality pack of broccoli requires a combination of speed and uniformity as well as refrigeration if freshness is to be maintained. The link of refrigeration is widely debated but it remains no mystery to this company. While ordinary vegetable packers still struggle with crushed ice, this company uses the magic of liquid ice. With penetrating swiftness it finds its way to every vacant spot around the bunch as well as in the crate. No one can debate this perfect link in maintaining freshness and quality control. When you pack millions of crates of broccoli, supplying liquid ice is no small job. Here within the confines of this cold room adjacent to the packing house operation is an ice harvest as spectacular as its unique manufacture. Giant clam shovels harvest the slush ice, which is then pressured through pipes to the outlets at the packing house. Finishing out the truck or rail car with liquid ice signifies another milestone in bringing to the retailer as well as to the consumer a near perfect product. A product whose refrigeration and freshness is amply protected. Merchandising broccoli, especially at the store level, is not so far removed from the farmer's chief concern, since he is aware that the problems the merchant faces in satisfying customers has a lot to do with tomorrow's plantings as well as today's retail supply. Those who deal in perishable commodities have enough problems without creating new ones. A dissatisfied housewife frequently displays more patience than she is given credit for by some non-progressive merchants. Broccoli displays, ill-kept and featuring flowering beauties long due for the garbage can, do little to awaken the housewife's grasp on her purse strings. As a matter of fact, excuses about real good cheap buys do little to get the merchant off the hook and in all probability only hasten the retailer's departure from the marketing picture.
The characteristics of good merchandising usually go hand in hand with quality produce. The wise merchant has found that the shopper knows what she wants. He maintains the quality link which originated at shipping level and sees to it that refrigeration is one of the means used in preserving that link. The exciting impulse appeal of a fresh perishable, properly priced and attractively displayed, is one of the big rewards for having a well-qualified produce man at your favorite store. Broccoli that invites cooking, that has all of the tempting uniformity and color, deserves to be presented in an appetizing manner. A merchant who appreciates the fact that his role in maintaining a quality link includes keeping the commodity rotated and properly refrigerated is on the road to making a profit. And what's more enjoyable, the customer will be satisfied too. And the satisfaction expressed by a housewife has a lot to do with the law of supply and demand. And in the long run, this satisfaction is reflected by the farmer, the grower or shipper, as well as the retailer, whose lives are made much more enjoyable and profitable in this age of competitive merchandising. <laughs>